All right, what's going on, guys? Willis here. Today, we are diving into the new content in Skull and Bones Season 2. So, big thanks to Ubisoft for sponsoring this video. So, let's jump right in. First off, this game's pretty good. Skull and Bones is all about blowing up enemy ships, raiding, building up your ship, your crew, your character, and there's tons of ships to go and sink for loot. There's like several different clans, but the main sort of targets for Season 2 drop is the company now i've been caught out a few times in the early game by way higher level company ships they're always hostile and they just basically one shot you so you gotta be very careful everyone else on the sea is also trying to take your stuff most of the clans you encounter through are basically neutral unless you get too close or start firing holes in their ships without going into too much story details your main port at the start is going to be saint anne you'll get there pretty much soon after the prologue events and from there you'll start a few quests to build your very first ship called the rammer it's good at ramming other boats if you didn't guess already once you've got that built you can take a look at the ship customization there's a lot of options here all the way from sail color to cannons and even entire ship overhauls then you'll be giving a few quests to start taking some company ships coming back getting a fresh fit going back out and stealing some loot it's a pretty straightforward situation another thing that's great is the game doesn't feel too grindy in the first 30 minutes of the game i had my starting ship and i was blowing up other ships and and it doesn't take ages of sailing to find targets for looting or for completing the quests. For example, when I had to get my materials to construct my first ship, I left the St. Anne dock, headed around the corner, and I was able to farm up some materials. And you even get most of the stuff you need as a quest reward as well. Granted, I haven't reached the latest stages of the game yet, so I'm not fully sure what it's like at that point so far. But honestly, it's quite a relaxing experience anyway. If blowing up ships and stealing people's things could be considered relaxing anyway. And aside from all the looting, sailing and blasting cannons the game has a pretty in-depth ship customization you can change your ships in various ways including different types of sails all designs and weapon types it lets you build for speed power or even straight durability also something you'll notice in the dock menu is this little pvp flag you can turn that on to tell other players you're basically up for sinking each other's ships it's super high risk but the rewards especially if you take down someone much higher level are absolutely worth it the game also has a dynamic weather system so what does this mean it means that the black cloud on the horizon is probably coming towards you and that means rogue waves can damage or even sink your ship but those huge waves also break line of sights with enemies so you can get out of trouble if you need to also i did spot some kind of big sort of sea creature in a storm i turned the boat around real quick because believe me that was far bigger than any sharks i've seen in the game but if i go into any more detail i'm gonna start spoiling the story so what's new in season two of skull and bones well first off you've got the leaders of the company the Hubak twins these guys are trying to ruin your day their company ships are always out to get you and like i said before they are the on-site kind of guys they are brutal i've been killed by their ships a lot already also their ships have a new armor called the wave shield which opens up to reveal weak points when they fire You'll need new and more powerful weapons like the mine spring loader to take them on. The spring loader shoots boys that spawn floating minefields, creating an explosive areas to trap your enemies. Next up is the new ship, the Brig. The engineer themed ship is the fastest in the game and it's designed to work with the spring loader. Equip it with the new Rhapsody of the Deep Armor, which lets you charge up a sonic attack to damage nearby enemies, making it super useful against the Hubak twins. Season two also brings a ton of ship upgrades for your ships. You can now buff your ships through six upgrade levels, improving stats, unlocking new perks, and adding more furniture slots. This means you can kit out even smaller ships to take on more threatening targets. Another new feature is the fleet management you can now assign ships not in use to automatically collect pieces of eight from your manufactories the higher your ship rank the better the loot but with higher risk of damage there are new ways to acquire the manufacturers too you can get them through the helm leases and the new buyout game mode Helm leases can be acquired through seasonal contracts, trading, and the smuggler pass rewards. In buyout, you can gather supplies to meet the demands of the overseas smuggler in exchange for a manufactory. Season 2 also introduces the new world events uh, that should keep you hooked while you're in between jobs. There's a new elite warship, the Soleil Royal, which specializes in area denial and long-range damage. Successfully sinking it grants 
rare rewards. Other events include the Merchant Convoys offering major rewards, the Dragon Boat event where you can race through checkpoints to win regatta chests. Later in the season, the Summer Fiesta event will challenge you to steal imported ice for rewards. The game supports both single player and multiplayer modes. You can team up with friends to tackle tough missions or compete against other players in the PvP battles. Co-op play allows you to form alliances as well to take on larger threats together, making the game actually worth playing with friends. We're also getting some extra end game content. New high level challenges and rewards are being added to keep you raiding until the next batch of planned updates drop that will continue to expand the game with new ships, events and features. But yeah, that's it for the highlight of skull and bones season two big massive shout out to ubisoft for sponsoring this video if you want to check out skull and bones be sure to use my link in the video description and with that being said guys i will see you in my next video peace